Hi, hi, Lou. Really, really hi. great to see you today. Oh, you too. Always love seeing you. Thank you so much for joining to do Top Tips. I really, really appreciate it. Our friendship has spanned many decades and um, I couldn't help but reach out to you about Top Tips because you are so inspiring. So thank you very, very much for agreeing to, to come along and, um, and have a little chat today. How, how's life changed for you over the last few weeks with lockdown? Well, I guess first of all, I think next month we've known each other for 25 years. So when we get out of this, another excuse for us <laughs> to develop. Um, so I don't know. So I was chatting with Ian last night and, um, you know, I think I've been very fortunate that um, I've kind of worked from home for a couple of days a week for many, many years, you know, since probably before Poppy was born and she's what, 14 now. Um, so for me, it hasn't been too much of a wrench from a kind of work perspective. Um, yes, it's pretty intense during the day when you're on one call to the next or whatever, but, you know, I haven't found that side of it hard um, at all, really. Um, work is busier than ever. Um, so, yeah, just um, kind of making the best of it, really. Good. Well, I know you've been running the snippets to share as well alongside you know working full time and I absolutely love that so thank you very much for um you know for, for doing this so what are your top tips Lou to people watching um so um first one really um is about kind of focusing on um personal growth so using this time really as a reflection so I know you and I um have kind of done well we do quite a lot don't we where we kind of almost um buddy up with each other to keep each other honest about goals that we set ourselves at the start of the year and I know we're both big fans of um, Rise and Rise. Yes, it's, it's, if anyone hasn't read that, it's a brilliant um, kind of blueprint for um, kind of laying out everything that you want to achieve, and you know having a kind of like you know life bucket list that sort of thing. So no better time to do something like that if you haven't already. Um, but I was on um, a virtual training course through work the other day, and somebody was talking about. Um, Kind of using this time to look at like you know how you can grow so talking about um you know what could you maybe do to um you know get better in your current role what could you maybe do to future proof yourself for any kind of new role or direction that you might want to go in and i guess that may be relevant for an awful lot of people with the changing um kind of business environment that's out there at the moment and this part really was about focusing on your own personal growth so kind of making sure you're always kind of mindful of that so um so again i guess that's why i kind of talked about rise but that's a really good way of kind of um kind of collating all of your aspirations i guess in one place and keeping a track of that so um a couple of things that are on my own personal growth list so one of them is one of the reasons why i'm here today so i guess i struggle sometimes with kind of personal confidence and you've helped me hugely Lisa it was you who encouraged me to start the blog with some things to share um, you know I think sometimes I get like um, analysis paralysis and I'll overthink things before I'll step in and have a go so one of the kind of things that I thought I would kind of do to put myself out of my comfort zone was exactly do this to take you up on the opportunity of, of kind of getting out there and maybe sharing some tips um, so that's I guess the reason why I'm here. I'm also trying to learn French again. So I did it at high school, but then never really carried on. So I'm using a Duolingo app. So my mum's doing French and Italian. She's amazing. Um, and another thing that I'm doing is um, kind of, so I've always been keen at like dabbling with growing things like salad and um, vegetables. But this year, because I haven't been able to get to any garden centres, I've been having a go at trying to grow flowers. So I've got limited success there so far, but I just thought I'd share a quick tip about maybe something you could try at home. So I know Lisa, you've ordered some seeds, you're gonna give it a go this weekend and try and grow some in the garden. Um, so these, don't know whether you can see Lee. Oh yeah. Great, so I just got a supermarket basil plant and split it up. So basically I've now got kind of four, so I've got the original plant still going in the kitchen and then there's four that will kind of carry on hopefully growing and bushing out. So that's something I think you know, if you're passing a supermarket or next time you're there and you see any kind of herbs, you could give that a go. Um, another thing, just in terms of that, so these are, I um, don't know if you can see those, Lee, mm -hmm. little um, red pepper seedlings. So literally we just took um, a red pepper that we'd use for cooking, took the seeds out, dried them, and then popped them in some compost, wasn't sure what would happen, and um, they've germinated. So hopefully in the warmer weather, we'll get those out 
Um, and one of the things I did last weekend was I'd seen it on um, YouTube. I actually took a strawberry that we'd got from the supermarket and you probably have to have some patience to do this, but I sat outside in the sun for about an hour um, and carefully with a little cocktail stick, took out every single seed off the strawberry, <laughs> let those dry for 24 hours and I've now planted those. So hopefully you might get some strawberry seedlings from that. So, you know, I think there's loads of really good tutorials on YouTube, you know, what's the worst that can happen, give it a go. So that's one of my um, um, tips there. Stay insane and trying something new. Okay, and then second tip really is about um, trying to dial up your gratitude and dial down some of the things that may um, kind of trigger you. So, so I've always kind of tried to um, actively avoid, um, you know, newspapers and um, headlines and that sort of thing, limit the amount of exposure to uh, these 24 hour news channels and co. Um, so I think one of the things that you and I both have been doing for quite a long time is having a little gratitude blog. So I know we've both had happiness planner, haven't we, for the last um, few years, but I've also got a mini little book as well that I can kind of take them ever out and about or on holiday or whatever and it's just a place where you can um, jot down any things that you're grateful for so I think it's a really great um, activity to do maybe at the end of each day so you can kind of freight top and tail your day by kind of ending the day with just three things that you're really grateful for so Lisa you've personally appeared in my gratitude log on so many um, occasions but I think one of the top tips there is you know keep it specific keep it short but make it something that's really measurable and meaningful to you um, and I think uh, so there's, there's a couple of things there the, the following morning if you can um, also do things like positive affirmations to yourself kind of top and tail in your day you can have such a big um, improvement on your mindset. Uh, I know you've um, got your jar of joy, haven't you, Lee? I have a jar of joy, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Which is yeah. just like an expansion of that. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, okay. Did you want to talk about your jar of joy? <laughs> Uh, so I have a jar of joy where when something nice or good happens to me, I pop it into my jar of joy, which is now quite a large glass bowl, but it will allow me to, uh, yeah, to see happy, happy memories and just keep me focused on the good things. Um, cause it's too easy to dip into thinking things are not as rosy as they seem and they are very rosy. So I love my jar of joy. Thanks. Thanks Lou for bringing that up love it too um okay and then tip number three really would be about um trying where you can to um i guess steer your mindset so i know you and i have very much tried to be kind of glass half full or ideally glass full physical glass always full yet yeah. always full um but i think sometimes it can be um it can be difficult to um, to kind of feel more positive if your thoughts are about what you can't do maybe right now. So I saw a brilliant thing on Instagram. I think there's been loads of brilliant things being shared, haven't there? You know, mm. fun perspective. One of the things that really struck struck me kind of early on was, you know, don't think about being trapped in. Try and reframe that and say, actually, I'm staying safe by being in. And I think sometimes just small tweaks to the way you frame things in your mind can have such a big um difference so um so yeah that's the kind of the kind of third one and i think you know just as part of that there are so many things i think that um that are happening as part of this lockdown that in a way if if things do go back completely to how they were before we've got a real missed opportunity so i think you know for, for me for me personally things like shopping locally you know trying the lovely veg boxes that are being delivered from from hull um you know seeing neighbors and having a little chat over the fence when we do the thursday clap for the carers taking walks with um the family having things like video calls rather than just telephone calls um you know loving all of that so so yeah maybe just try and if you do have a difficult situation i'm not trying to downplay that because some people are having you know an awful time but mm -hmm. where you can just small tweaks on kind of the mindset would um can make a big difference what great tips lou thank you very very much so number one love the idea of life planning you know stay sane try something new it's an ideal time for that really love the idea of the gratitude journal just reflecting um each day on that and absolutely the tiny tweaks to our mindset make a big big difference so 
love those tips. Thank you very, very much for the time. I know oh. you're very busy. Um, oh, I love what you're doing. I think it's amazing what you're doing, championing and all these small businesses. And I know, keep doing what you're doing. You're amazing, Lisa. Thank you. Keep posting <laughs> snippets to share. Thanks, Lou. I love, See you soon. I love to you all. Bye. Bye.